Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the, well, it's the HyperAntics pack, but this is not the HyperAntics server. No, we're here on single player because I am going to show you a solution for doing automated fortunable ore processing. So that's anything that you would rather use a fortune tool on rather than a just running it through a grinder or smelter of some form. So let's take a look at how we can do that with the refined storage mod, shall we? Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my creative testing world for the Hyper Antics pack. And uh, before you think that this particular solution is going to be only for this mod pack, no, we're going to just be using the refined storage mod. And if your pack has refined storage, well, the recipes might be a little bit different, but you should be able to do what we are doing today. So uh, you can see a little bit of my setup over there if that looks familiar. If you've been watching my videos, if it doesn't look familiar, feel free to watch my videos and you can see how all of that came together. But let's turn our attention away from that and look at what is in our inventory here. I'm not going to go through all of the recipes or anything like that. You can look that up in your particular mod pack. So instead, we're going to be focusing on just a fortunable or kind of automated ore processing. We're going to do that with refined storage. We've got the basics of what we need right here. We're going to need some cables. We're going to need a constructor and destructor set. We're going to need one of each of these for every ore that you want to process. And that's any ore that you would rather use a Fortune 3 tool on instead of just putting it through something like a sag mill or some sort of a grinder or smelter combination. So for this one, I'm going to be going over six of these ores. Modded Minecraft adds a whole lot more. And so it depends on what you've got in your system, what you want to do. But we're going to be covering coal, redstone, lapis, diamond, emerald, and nether quartz. So all of that, most of what you see here is repeated because we've got so many different ores here. But you rest assured, we're going to need one constructor and one destructor, both from the refined storage mod. We need one of each for these ore blocks here. So without further ado, what we need to do is get a basic refined storage network set up. Baseline that you need for that is uh, a disk drive would help. Then you'll need a grid to access it. You also need a controller. We're going to put the grid on top here. And that work out? Yes, it did. And then next up, we're going to need some sort of a power thing. I'm just using a creative bank, but if you're setting this up in your own base, you've probably got RF taken care of in some other fashion. So uh, that's what we're working with there. Inside the disk drive, we're going to put just a 64K because we're in creative mode and we can. So not that big of a deal. All right, so we're done with the capacitor bank and the grid. So you know what? We can just throw all of this stuff in like that. Okay, next up, let's get our bank of constructors and destructors ready. I'm going to bring down the ores that we're going to be using here. And we're going to set out just one for each, like so, and in creative. Uh, the ores do not actually leave my my inventory. So there we go. Just in case you're wondering why it is not going away. All right, so we should have six up there. Good, 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 good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a constructor and go along the front face here and then a destructor. And we've got a botanic flower in the way. And we're going to put the destructor here. Not like that. Put it right there. Okay, so we've got the planes that we're going to be working with right here, kind of settled. But what we want to do is add some upgrades. You don't have to do this uh, for, in particular, for the constructor and destructor. We don't necessarily need these speed upgrades, but it is going to be helping. Okay, so uh, we're going to be just adding these speed upgrades. It's going to be exporting these items from our find storage network a little bit more quickly so it might help to do that also in here we need to put in a filter and so I want the coal to go in that one and then we're gonna go just all the way down the line right here 
put in each of these ores as a filter into the constructor core or constructor, it's just called a constructor. So uh, it's kind of like a formation plane and a, what's the other one? Formation and annihilation planes from applied energistics, but refined storage obviously can't call it the same thing. So we're kind of using the same concepts that we would with applied energistics, just different mechanisms. So over here, we, are, we aren't going to need the speed upgrade necessarily, but we will need the Fortune 3 upgrade. So that will help. And, and again, you know, this is going to be something that you have further down the line in your modded journey. And this, you know, this thing can work for uh, Hermit Pack or Hyper Antics. Anything that includes refined storage, you should be able to do this particular setup. So now that we've got that, what we need to do is just grab some cable. And this is one reason why I prefer this setup over Applied Energistics. Notice that we've got 12 total items on this particular network right here or sub network we don't have to worry about channels this is great so we're going to just bring this back and put it into the network and you saw that it kind of just went away and what i'm going to do is get rid of all of these items we don't want those clogging up our tests so we did get what one two three four. okay so we got six this is good we can put these destructors put all that stuff away and i'm going to put a stack of each of these ores and we can see what the relative results are you hear it kind of just going nuts i'm going to step away to make sure that we don't have issues with sound going uh you know what i do need a sneaky screenshot don't i so let's just grab this and there we go so you can see it just working its way through all of those it might take it a while but you know the speed upgrades are going to make it go pretty quickly so this is something that once you get it set up it's not going to be immediate you'll just have to wait for it to finish and what we can do is maybe come back here and just take a look at the progress that we've got so it's almost there almost you notice it's roughly on the same kind of timing here so it's not like any one of these ores is backing up over one of the others and there we go so we've gotten all of those ores processed in you know it didn't actually take that long so it's a stack each and out of a stack each we've got 104 diamonds let's see if we can is that, was that 104 no it was more than that that's 128 right there 134 so not too shabby it is the fortune 3 equivalent so so there you go in case you're worried about that but that ladies and gentlemen is how to do automated fortuning with refined storage this is kind of a a reply to dadcraft 73 is wondering a a way to do that in his hermit pack episodes and it's not the same mod pack but still refined storage is in there so you can use that so anyway Hopefully this helped. If it did, a like is always appreciated. And if you, uh, you know, have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave those down in the comment section down below. If you have not subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button to make sure that you are up to date with everything going on on the channel. And if you want to make sure that you're not missing anything, hit that little bell icon beside the subscribe button. It's going to make sure that you get a notification in your email inbox whenever a new video hits my uh, my inbox here so anyway that's uh that's gonna be it for now thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one bye bye